G'day, I'm Stuart from Australian Clutch. Today we're gonna to run through a few different friction material options that we have for our multi-disc range. I'm gonna use an example of our 230 millimeter or nine inch twin disc that we've got here um, and run through the four most common friction material options that we have um, and give you some pros and cons of each one and let you know exactly where you would apply each one. The first thing to point out here is that we have two different types of friction discs that we can offer for a multi-plate clutch. The first and most common type is a completely rigid hub setup. And what that means is that you have one hub that's actually got a spline in it and that's actually riveted to a friction carrier with no drive springs straight to the friction material. The second type is a sprung hub setup, which actually uses uh, springs like you would have in a normal factory organic clutch kit and that actually drives straight through a friction carrier into the friction material and then the top disc will actually sit on top of that and carry um, the same drive from those springs. The advantage to a rigid setup is that it can have a lot lower inertia. So in applications where you might be adding quite a bit of weight onto the input shaft, it can be harder to shift gears at higher RPM. So in a rigid disc setup, there's a lot less inertia for that input shaft to be carrying and the synchros to be working against as you change gears. The rigid setup um, is a little bit lighter than the sprung setup, so that's why that can actually be an advantage. With the sprung setup, that's an advantage because in gearboxes where you might be reaching the limits of uh, the peak torque carrying capabilities of that gearbox, this will actually reduce some of the shock loading and harmonics that will go through that gearbox. So you're likely to prevent um, any you know, harsh shock loading that could break some of the teeth off or could do damage to synchros um, or even just carry drive noise through into the transmission and then through into the cabin as you're driving at low RPM. The other most important selection that you're going to need to make is the type of friction material. The two most common ones that majority of customers will need to select between is organic and ceramic. So we have sprung and we have rigid and then within that you can select organic or ceramic. The advantages to an organic friction material is that it's much smoother to drive for vehicles that are driven around on the street um, or you know, the occasional track day or something along those lines of hills driving. Um, but in general, you want a comfortable, smooth friction material to drive. Um, they don't have as a high heat capacity, so if you're only gonna use a vehicle on a track, then it's probably not gonna be suitable. That's where the ceramic friction material comes in. Ceramic has a much higher coefficient of friction, so it'll carry more torque. It also has a higher heat capacity. So if you are gonna get it very hot, you're gonna be launching the vehicle on the track, constant high RPM gear changes or drifting or something along those lines, then ceramic is definitely the way to go. It still provides a good level of drivability. It's not a completely on and off friction button, but it's definitely going to induce some degree of shudder and noise, and it's not gonna be as comfortable to drive as an organic.